Hey, what's up guys? J-Ho here with a brand new playthrough series for you. I'm actually going to be doing the hardcore challenge made famous by Deadly Slob. I'm going to be using his rules uh, essentially. So if you don't know what the rules are, I'll go ahead and I'll put them down in the description below. You can look over them, uh, but quick run through. Secure container is only for keys. Uh, or like if I put like a dock or a sick case in there, I can put my keys in it as well. Um, I, I cannot buy anything off of the flea market. I cannot use cash to buy any weapons, any ammo, anything like that. I can barter and I can craft. Um, so it's going to be a little bit different than what you're normally used to as far as uh, Tarkov gameplay. It's going to be a little bit rougher. Uh, it should be definitely a little bit rougher on the edges, but uh, definitely a unique experience and uh, something that'll be a little bit fun to play through and kind of uh, use the different items to progress and not just be a dollar value. So I think it's gonna be pretty sweet. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. This isn't gonna be like a going to Kappa thing. I don't think there's gonna be enough time to do that, but we're gonna try to upgrade the hideout. I think that's gonna be my uh, main objective, get the hideout uh, as upgraded as far as we can, do some quests, have some fun along the way. Uh, first thing I gotta do though, is I do need to delete my entire inventory. Yes, that's right. I'm going to delete my entire inventory, start with nothing, and uh, we got to go in and find everything that we use. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into some raids. Alrighty, guys. So here we are right at the beginning menu of the game. We'll go ahead and we will accept this. Uh, we're going to call this one. I'm J Hardcore instead of I'm J Home. <laughs> it's a little bit fun there. So let's go ahead and click next. Uh, we're going to do a USAC. I, uh, my main account, I'm actually a bearer, so I want to flip it back over. Uh, I do like having the English lines and I definitely miss it from this season. So, um, cool. So first things first, we're going to come in here and we are going to delete everything except for my alpha container. So I'll go ahead. I'll fast forward this here for you. I'll see you in a second. All right, so for this, I can keep the money. I can use the money in a few different ways. One, for any hideout upgrades that need to use money. Two, after raid healing, I will use the money to after raid heal if I do so need. Um, and three, I can use the money to uh, upgrade or quests. Um, oh, and for uh, armor repairs and such as well. Uh, you know, if I need to repair some armor or anything like that, I can definitely use that. Everything else I use uh, is going to be barters only. So uh, all the money we get in quests and that we find in raids, we'll just throw in here and we'll save it up um, to go ahead and buzz through. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, it's a pretty kick-ass loadout that we have here. Uh, you know, it's uh, just an alpha container and that's it. So let's go ahead and hop into the first raid. No scabs. Also, just so you know, I cannot use a scab at all through this playthrough series. All right, what map do we want to start out on? Factory, well, scabs rush you if you don't have anything on you, so this this one's kind of out of the question. Customs has a good amount of scabs on it, too. That'd be kind of tough. And woods. So we got reserve and shoreline. I feel like shoreline, I mean, it's just going to be... I got to go reserve. It's a military base. I feel like I'm going to have my best chance of finding weapons there. All right. Let's go ahead and load into the raid. All right, guys, and we are in. Not really the spawn that I wanted. Take some capacitors. Shit. Ooh, that sucks.
Alright, I know there's a couple weapon crates all the way up. Nipple sight? Alright, Nikita, give me a gun. I know you love me. Crunching glass does not help. Give me a gun! Give me a gun! Ooh, it's not a gun! What is it? Barrel for a Glock. I guess we'll leave the euros behind. Give me a gun. Give me a gun. Shoot. Okay. I feel like if I go down, I'm just gonna get murdered. Where do we go? Do we go in here? Let's do it. Come on, gun, 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 not a gun. Hmm. Tad bit worried about walking around here. Because there is somebody that spawns right next to us. It's a lot closer to spawn than I did. I almost walked away from this. Rip. Could have been bad, especially if there's a gun in it. It's not a gun. Man. We are not having any luck at all finding any weapons right now.
some fuel right there. Wish you could take the fuel. So we can briefly check the roof. I started up there, so I shouldn't have anything to really worry about from up there. My god. I never really realized how many guns actually spawn in these crates. Or how many don't spawn in these crates. Until you're really looking for them. If I got a grenade, I might be able to get help. I'm not even going to talk about it. Some more caps. We'll need those later. Pistol! Ooh, nope. PS rounds. I'd say my best chance of getting a gun is probably an AK. <laughs> so having that ammo might be of assistance. Do not believe I hit this floor. ET. I don't have anywhere I can put that. Man, I really want that BT ammo. Gun. Shoot. He's right out there. Is he going to come to the mark room? God, fuck, this game is so scary sometimes.
Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I basically went through all the weapon crates in two buildings already. Didn't find a gun. I haven't heard a peep in a little bit, though. Power to D2 is on. I'm gonna go check it. Metal scissors? I can't get that either. child's down here for me, is there? It's kind of sketchy. Come on, gun. That's not a gun either. Whale shark. Kind of hoping I can find a body down here. Not that body. That body doesn't count. Give me a gun. Nope, not a gun. Reflex sight, though. Come 
More BTs too. Son of a bitch. Nippers. This is creepy. So power is on, so nobody else should really come down here. Could use a gun though. Let's go. I'll have PS ammo. Made a lot of noise by breaking that glass. But it was worth it, because we found a gun. Oh. You got another weapon crate here? Another gun, dude? Oh, man, we lit. Full of BP, too. Alright, I think we're ready to extract, right? That legit sounded like somebody was right next to me. Dude, I'm like glitched. I'm literally glitched and I sound like I'm in a bush. What the hell? Super weird and frustrating. Please tell me that stopped. I think we're okay. I think we are okay.
Uh, apologize for that. Let's bring that back up. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we definitely want to get the fuck on out of here. Let me get some stamina back. What the fuck? I'll take it though. Do either of them have a backpack is the question. No, neither of them do. They both have shotguns of course. Oh, he does. Perfect. All right, we got a few guns. Not a bad first raid. I'll take it. I will definitely take that. Am I not on the main hole anymore? Hello? Oh, I don't. I have a backpack on. Shit. Hmm. Wish I could take that butt of the gun off. We already got two guns. It's not worth it to get greedy here. Alright. Now is a good raid. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't even think about the backpack being on. That's good. We got two good. We got two guns. First raid. All right. Yeah, I know that wasn't bad. We got 2200 XP. We got a couple scav kills. Skyrocket us to level two. Almost level three. We just had a little bit of fall damage, which we have the money, so we can use the after raid healing. Perfect.
And I did pick up more money too, so I can throw that in there. Got to make sure that we keep that stash going so we can always heal that way. Oh, I dropped the money. Okay, never mind. I lied. So we still got that. We got ammo in there. We do have a sight. We got a, a knife. In case you ever need to go in naked again. We have an extra knife. So I don't have ammo for that, but I do have ammo for this. I don't know why that's not unloading. Oh, I gotta inspect it. Probably have to inspect some stuff on this guy too. What is in this one? Seven mil? Yeah, I think that that's what I'd rather use. We're gonna take the flashlight off though. Um, put that there. This is actually going to be used for a barter. Okay. So I did not open up any tasks yet. We gotta do a bunch of stuff there. So that's getting Slua kits. Probably the best way to do that is um, crafting them. You can find them sometimes. Um, Must be Jaeger that has the 153 shotgun tread. Or 133. No, it's right here. So I need one screwdriver and one more elite player. So just a red handle screwdriver. And we can go and get that guy, bad boy. Alright, so we have one raid down. And clear out those. And for our second raid, we do need to kill five scavs on customs. We might go customs here next. I think I have to go customs. I don't really have a backup to like lean on. So we're going to go customs for right now. Alrighty guys. So we're hopping into customs here. We're just maybe find an extra gun, kill a couple scavs. And we're going to be getting out. We're not doing anything crazy here by any mean at, at all. Could get fuel. I don't have um, any storage for it, though. Definitely need some peas. We're going to uh, eat these. Glad I found these. So we made some noise. We're gonna back up. Times we can find some loot on this shelf. There is a weapons crate right here. So we got a pistol now. Should 
both be pistol mags. We'll move these here. I'll put this here. And we'll throw a bullet in. The one thing that kind of stinks about custom is fighting through the entire map. This is typically a bad one to go to. I feel like it's a trap, but you don't really have any weapons to play the game with. Kind of got to take a little bit of chances. The shelf typically might have some loot on it. Rechargeable battery. We can actually trade that for an ADAR. We will need these at some point. Oh man, I I gotta drop something for that. If I get a key though, I can put it in there. Mm, we don't want to eat that. We have enough energy. We need more hydration. Seven mount. All right, so I think my next move is I'm gonna head back to old gas. don't see any bodies. We're gonna actually hug this wall. Nothing there. Let's see if we can get some meds. We, we really, really need some meds. All right, so we're gonna cross through. We're gonna come back this way. We're gonna kind of hug this wall a little bit. As we're coming through here. Get behind this trailer, get some cover. There's some dumpsters here we can get some cover behind. And we'll go behind this truck. And then we're gonna run straight out. Zigzag a little bit so we're not easy to hit. Come over here. Boom, now we're out of sight. Now we rest, get our stand back up. That guy sounded like he was farther down the railroad track. We're going to keep moving, though, because we don't want him to catch back up. He might be chasing us down. That's not what we're looking to have happen. We're not trying to get confrontational right now. Now we did get one more gun. It is only a pistol though. Can I take a slow and sit here for a minute and just listen? We are definitely center of the map. So that's the person that shot at me back there.
Were they just trying to use my ears to my advantage for right now? Still pretty early in the raid. So most people... Probably haven't crossed over yet. I do see movement way down there. Saw somebody running in front of this building. They're probably coming over to the two-story. Oh, I just saw somebody running back there. They might come down here to check this stash inside of this barrel. They might not. Oh, the sun is out. She is shining, boys. She is shining. Okay. So that person coming out of dorms means that that side is probably clear to run through. Because mostly everybody else is going to be coming over the water. So we're going to move from here. We're going to jump over. We're going to cross over into the dorms woods over here. But we're going to stay close to the road. You don't want to go far back. Just because people rotating still will be over there. Typically they like to ride the wall. There's a little low ground dip over here. We're probably just going to walk into that. Use the low ground to our advantage. You can peek up. There's a scab sometimes that can be right up here. Alright. I'm going to sprint across. We don't want to be out in the open for too long. I don't want to be too loud on top of this metal. That metal can really, really travel distances. The wood is kind of loud, but I feel like that metal is way, way louder. As you can see, I'm kind of weaving in and out of the bushes here. Not really trying to make too much noise. Don't want to really want to bring attention to myself. There is a low ground spot right here. But I find a lot of people sit in. So you want to be very careful. It's right there. Okay. We should be kind of home clear for the most part. We didn't see any scabs. That's fine. Most everybody should be out of this side, though. There's a med bag in here I want to check. And we can hit the filing cabinet, see if we can get any better loot. A bandage. Bandage could be helpful. Um, we're going to have to drop those items. That's another ADAR. I'm going to need those for um, crafting toolkits. There's a body here, so maybe we can pick up a gun. Yep, looks like he does have a gun on him. Make sure it's not bait for anything. We just want to be quick. Just want to be really, really quick.
Not sure what type of ammo he has. We're just gonna scoop it and run. There is the new 366 uh, AP ammo. That is actually pretty crazy. Doesn't look like anybody hit this. Out. Water. Clutch. Not the greatest of ammo. Could have got better, for sure, with the AP. But I am not complaining. We have a gun. Might as well take it. No reason to really not take it. Um, actually, there is a jacket over here. Let me go hit this jacket. And then we're going to hit a med bag, and then we'll extract. Key? No keys yet, boys. We did get another pistol, though. All right. Oh, yeah, we did get one scab kill, didn't we? Right off the beginning. Perfectly fine by me. Get this duffel bag really quick, see if we can get some juice or some food. There, we'll take this. All right, and we are out of here. Not a bad raid for raid number two. So far, we're two for two in this series. And we'll try to drink this before we leave. All right. Might not have got that off. We'll see. Two successful raids. Now we have a couple pistols. We also have a sniper rifle. Um, we're not sitting in a bad spot for just deleting my entire inventory. <laughs> so not bad at all. Not bad at all. It's pretty uh, pretty decent. We're we're building up. I mean that's that's the main point here is to kind of build up. You know, sacrifice little at the beginning. Uh, we can start building up the sacrifice more as we find more. Um, it's going to be a little bit yet though. All right, so that should put us to level uh, three. Okay, level three. Clean up that fall damage a little bit. And we have some low risk pistols. So these pistols, and I, I have three mags. So I essentially could split it up. Maybe do like one run like this, with this here, and then one run like that. Um, I have quite a bit of shotgun ammo though, so if you find another shotgun, we're definitely going to want to keep it. Um, this is actually empty. So if we can find some more 366 ammo, I can put something in there. Got those, and a big, big thing. We got the, well, the Yushonk is actually kind of big too. We'll put that down here. We're going to need that later. Um, so we do got these wreck batteries, which is it? Is it right here? Yep. Cool. So now we can trade these wreck batteries straight up for an ADAR, which is nice. It's actually really, really nice. So I think I'm just going to hang on to them for now. Let's see what all of my barters are. Yep, paid. Okay. Screws and bolts. My PP, that's just T plugs. I like the PP19, so that might be something we go for. This is the big thing that I'm curious about is my ammo. So I can get BTs for Tashanka, the big Tashanka. 
and cleanse. So those are going to be big for me. The cleanse and the B. Uh, cleanse and Tashanka. Is there any other ammo that I can trade for? So I'm feeling like ammo is going to be kind of a crutch for me right now. Not really seeing much for ammo. One, three, three. All right, so there is literally no ammo I can trade for other than AK ammo. So it's definitely going to make me want to use the AK a lot. So we're going to want to keep these horse figurines at as many safes as we can. And those don't hit that ammo. So the half mess, we're going to want to find those too. Soaps and TP are going to be huge for me. Okay, I think to go ahead and start opening up this, yes, we'll need level five. Um, but So we'll need to get another 133 there. Um, I might be to a point to where I could do a quick factory run. Uh, but not on this episode. It looks like we have eclipsed the one hour mark. Um, it's not bad. Not bad for the first episode. Two raids in, two successful raids. Uh, I know that first one wasn't very quick, but we made it out. Um, you know, objective completed. It was a W for the for the good guys. So it's good. It's good. Good start to uh, to the raid. Uh, I'm actually pretty pumped about how everything is going. Excited to see where we go next. So. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and be signing off. Make sure to subscribe so that way you're updated uh, for the next episode. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Go ahead and leave a like down below. It helps out tremendously so other people can find this content as well. You know, enjoy it too. You know, it's, it's what it's all about. It definitely helps me out and I appreciate it uh, every time you can. And uh, I guess uh, we'll see you next time.